And now I play the game of... Did that fucking fix it? Right where I'm back where I left off at. I mean, what's the point of having ridiculously good fucking internet service if the fucking extender doesn't work properly? Alright. Well. We're back. Hopefully. I don't lose connection again. Thanks. Oh, yes. When will the concert be starting, by the way? I'm afraid I didn't have the time to do any research beforehand. They'll be starting around 3 p.m. Although I think another of the classes will be performing an operetta before that. Still, you could have at least told me you'd be coming. This isn't the first time you've done this. <laughs> well, I was hoping to catch the two of you clutching each other in the torrid embrace of forbidden love. It sounds like your concert is shaping up to be a grand time, though. Would you mind terribly if I tore off my shirt and leapt on stage to join you all midway through? Uh, we're mostly just amateurs when it comes to music, so I'm not sure that'd be such a good idea. You know, I don't see Major Vander around. Is he not with you today? Unfortunately not. You've probably heard a few rumblings about it already, but there's been another development in the Crossbell situation today. I thought so. The Imperial Army is considering military action, aren't they? Well, try not to worry yourself about that right now. If it helps put you at ease, I can't really see there being a war, regardless of what happens. The gulf in military power between our two nations is far too wide. It would be suicide for them to try to fight us. The Calvert Republic isn't standing idle either, so I imagine it'll end up a deadlock. Under ordinary circumstances, I probably would have passed on coming today. But I thought that coming here with Alfin might actually alleviate tensions. Governor Regnitz, Rufus, and Chairman Arena are all here as well. I would presume they share the same opinion. But right now, you've got a concert to give. And I want you to focus all your energies on making it one to remember. Not for me or Alfin, or even for your schoolmates. Do it for yourself. Thank you, Your Highness. We'll give it all we have up there today. What's all this chit-chatting over here, you two? Care to let us in on your little gentleman's club? What about your little Spills girls? The but... secrets of our man-to-man -man bonding? Perish the thought. Anyway, Alfin and I would be happy to escort Elise around while you're indisposed. We'll bring her along to your concert, of course, so you needn't worry about a thing. Thank you, Your Highness. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good luck. I'll be praying for your success. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you shine up there on the stage. Okay, I guess I should head over to the auditorium now. We have to take care of some last-minute preparations, and I suppose I should catch Class 1's operetta, too. It's very weird. That was incredible. Well, I'm impressed. I had no idea how much work they'd put into this. <laughs> well, I have to confess, it's better than I'd anticipated. I love the That's cute little hats on Fee and Millium. Now I'm not so sure. Are people really going to be into our songs after seeing a performance like that? Come on, don't start getting all wishy-washy on me now. If your rehearsals are anything to go by, you're gonna bring down the house. You really think so? She's right. We'll be fine. Our concert packs more than enough impact. Don't overthink this too much. You just gotta believe. <laughs> this is no time to start doubting ourselves. What more can we give than our best? Well, hopefully, all those practice sessions help us get it right when we're in the spotlight. 
As soon as Class 1 clears out their set in props, we need to start setting everything up. Roger. I'm so excited I could explode! We're coming in! Toa? George? Here to give a little comfort to the weary soldiers fighting the good fight? <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> Actually, we have a special guest who insisted on seeing you. Coming in. Angie! I knew it. <laughs> huh? Angelica. And in a fancy dress. Uh, Angelica? <laughs> Looks like I made it just in time for the main event. Kinda disappointed I missed the operetta, though. Heard class one was really on fire. You made it! Just barely. But man, when did you get to be such a babe? <laughs> well, a good suit and tie are more to my taste. But this was part of the deal I made with my dad to let me come. He said I could visit the festival if I agreed to meet a few prospective candidates for an arranged marriage. Oof. So, here I am, dress and all. You better get a good look now. Who knows when I'll wear something like this again. <laughs> well, if that's your aim, you're certainly dressed for victory. Yeah, but I think it might draw out your charm a little too well. Most normal people would take one look at you and think you're completely out of their league. <laughs> you do look lovely, though. <laughs> Thanks, but honestly, I've got nothing on the rest of you fair maidens. Ah! Oh, Angelica! Ah, nothing like the pure, fresh scent of a woman. All I've had to look at since going back home is my dad's grumpy old face. I'm in heaven right now. Goodness gracious. Oh, good grief. Well, I suppose some things never change. Come on, Angie. All right, I've got my fix. Time to move on to my little ladies. Hugs for the little ladies. Oh, Fee Emilio. <laughs> He's just like, oh. <laughs> I should have seen this coming. Angie, don't get too carried away now. You do know they could file a sexual harassment claim, right? <laughs> it's good to have her back. I'm so glad she managed to make it after all. Looks like the winds are favoring us today. And Laura, did she escape? Yep, Laura escaped. I'm looking forward to your concert. From what I hear, you've got quite the show in store for all of us. Don't go getting yourselves too wound up. Just remember what you practice, put your all into it, and I'm sure the audience will be right there along with you. Yeah, it's your time to shine. Go on and have the time of your lives, guys. Good luck out there. Oh, <laughs> good. I love everyone just goes right, yes, or something like that, and it's thanks for everything. Nobody fucking said that. everyone. Next, our Academy's very first Class 7 is proud to present a concert. Oh, I, I remember that somebody was complaining about this. They did this, but they didn't bother to actually put any lyrics or anything in. Kind of zoom through it. I didn't know Fee and Million were supposed to sing too. I thought it was just Emma. Cheers loud and clear. 
So without further ado, I give you our third and final song. Everyone, join in! Are they like sleeping? Are they tired? What's going on? I'm exhausted. Tired. I'm hungry. I can't feel my feet. I guess that qualifies as a success then, right? Well, the crowd here seemed pretty enthusiastic. As if I had the mental energy to care about what the crowd thought. <laughs> I suppose that's the difference between professional musicians and amateurs like us. I don't think you guys need to worry. We did just fine. I'll say. The audience's reaction to our encore piece was even better than I'd hoped for. <laughs> I guess your plan paid off then. <sighs> A sorry. Patrick. Oh, it's you. Honestly, this is what bothers me so much about this class. I know you're tired. We're all tired. But that doesn't excuse this level of indolence. <laughs> what concern is it of yours? <laughs> At least you could let us bask in the afterglow of our performance before the moment fades. Still, I gotta hand it to you guys. You really pulled out all the stops for that operetta. It was really something. You could take that act to the theater and perform to a sold-out crowd. <laughs> Great casting, too. Paris fit her role to a T. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I really enjoyed it. 
You did? Well, I can't say I'm surprised, though. <laughs> Given the raw level of talent on display, who'd expect anything less than perfection? Wait, are you mocking me? If you're all languid and moping around, how do you think we feel? Show a little dignity at least. Hmm? What are you going on about? Aha, uh -huh. we did it, didn't we? Ugh. Pulling that third song out of nowhere is hardly what I'd call fair play. You even had me singing along. I, I, I can't even consider our little wager still valid after that. Good, good day. Everybody's lost, what but bro. I'm not even sure. It didn't seem like he came here just to thumb his nose at us. Congrats, everyone. You did it. Huh? What brings you all here? Is something wrong? You guys are so worn down, you totally forgot, didn't you? Remember a certain little poll where festival attendees get to vote on their favorite attraction? Well, the results are in. Oh, now that you mention it... We were so busy, I completely forgot about that. So wait, did we... They just finished counting up all the votes from the students and the visitors. Good numbers all around, but classes one and seven were the clear favorites. And this year's winner, with 1,512 votes, is Class 7's concert! Yeah! Huh. Congrats, guys. Well, at least that's over. Aw, oh, come on, is that it? That's all the enthusiasm you can muster? Well, after seeing all the other attractions for myself, I feel almost as proud of the other classes as I do us. For what it's worth, my brother and Charles seem to have had a great time. Mishy Panic was an unsung gem. Now that it's over, it feels a little... unsportsmanlike for us to be the only ones boasting about our achievements. Agreed. If anything, seeing everyone having a good time feels like a victory for the whole Academy. <laughs> yep. Every student should feel proud about these last two days. Anyway, I'm here to shake you dust potatoes out of your listless post-festival comas. Or have you forgotten that we still have the after party to enjoy? Oh yeah, there's that. I totally forgot. It's a tradition to close out the festival with a big party for the students, their friends, and their families. There's gonna be bonfires, right? And dancing? <laughs> Well, don't just sit there. Everyone's waiting for you. All the bonfires are set up too, so just make your way over whenever you're ready. Okay, I think we can muster up the energy for one last event today. What do you say we head on over and enjoy the party? Right. Father are still here. My dad too, and my brother, though I can't imagine why. Elliot, Crow, I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for us. <laughs> you mean for the concert? What brought that on? You got so serious there, I was getting kind of scared. It's just that our performance today never would have been possible without the two of you guiding it along. I wanted to make sure that you knew how much I appreciate you doing that. Damn, man. Is making people feel awkward a hobby of yours or something? Aw, oh, it's no big deal. Besides, it was a real team effort. Everyone played a part. I mean, look at you. You were a fountain of good advice through this whole thing. And honestly, I should be the one thanking everyone. Huh? You all helped me rediscover just how much music means to me. Because it's not just about performing by myself. It's about performing together. Playing off each other's strengths to make something wonderful. So I should be the one thanking you. This never would have happened if I didn't come to this academy. Elliot. 
Holy hell, are you guys trying to see who can make me cringe the hardest? Elliot, my boy! Your father's arms are ready and waiting for you to leap into them! <sighs> Does he always have to say that stuff so loudly? Sorry, I'll see you later, okay? Yeah, later. <sighs> this year's festival's been a blast. I'm kind of hoping we can do the same thing next year, too. Though, who knows if Class 7 is even going to exist next year. Hmm. Crow? Oh, uh, yeah. Generally, people stay in the same class from their first day to their graduation. But Class 7's basically one giant exception to everything the school's ever done, so... Who knows? I guess that has its pluses and its minuses. But no matter what, it's not going to be the same. We won't have you. If I manage to graduate, at least. Barring any nasty surprises, I'll be in class seven till the end of the month. Which means our time as classmates is almost up. Now that you mention it? Yeah. Hmm. We'll have to see if we can throw you a farewell party around the end of the month then. Can't let you off easy. <laughs> Come on, it's no big deal. Trust me, you're still gonna see more than enough of me next year. Sure. I'll have moved out of the dorms, but I'll be sure to stop by once a week to steal some of Sharon's cooking. You better. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to have to call you Mr. Armbrust or anything after you graduate, am I? I mean, we've spent so much time together that treating you like a proper adult just wouldn't feel right. <laughs> of course not. And if I ever catch you calling me Mr. Armbrust again, I'm gonna smack you. Oh, yeah. Guess it's about time I gave you this back. Isn't this... I completely forgot about it. You've done so much for me since then. Saving Elise, helping with the concert. Compared to all that, 50 Mira is nothing. <laughs> the feeling's mutual. Besides, I never return the mirror that I borrow. Makes that coin extra special. So go on, take it. I... Oh! By the way, you know there was interest on this, right? How much do you suppose you really owe me after half a year? Oh man, what kind of racket are you running here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be a good kid. Well, there's this one second year who's taught me a thing or two about making money. To be honest, it feels kind of lonely to think that everything between us is completely settled and done with. So, what do you say? You still owe me? I swear. The things I do for love. All right, all right. You'll get your stupid interest someday. Maybe. Dance a dance. Well, who's playing the music? Alfin, I am drawn to the party before us like a moth to a flame, like a starving man to a banquet. Like beauty to me. What say you we grace the dancers with the gift of our company? <laughs> it's as though you read my mind. Come now, don't waste your time watching. It's time to dance. <laughs> no need to worry about formalities tonight. Let's all relax, enjoy ourselves, and maybe let a few secrets slip. Secrets, you say? Allow me, Sharon, before every red-blooded boy in this school. <laughs> it would be my honor. Madam Chairman, might I have this dance? <laughs> Of course. Given that our former partners left the dance all too soon, we seem to make for an appropriate pair. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Instructor, I cannot thank you enough for all you've done for my daughter. I can, however, ask you for the pleasure of this Be on my girl. Really? Ooh, he's just my type, too. Hmm? Oh, just talking to myself. Well, I'll be dancing with all my little kittens by the end of the night. But I suppose I can let you take the first dance. Well, I don't mind. 
But seeing you in that dress is enough to make any guy feel intimidated. They waste no time, do they? It's no surprise that my grandfather made a beeline for Sharon, but I never expected to see Mother dancing. <laughs> in some ways, it seems as though they're younger than we are. They're talking, not dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like everyone's having fun, though. Shall we join them? You've given me more than enough of your time already today. Between showing me around and your incredible concert, you must be exhausted. And besides, I'm sure there's someone else you'd rather dance with here. Why not ask them instead? Honestly, I want to dance with the instructor, but I'm going to pick Elise because that's the bonding point I did. <laughs> I knew it. So, I have a potential sister-in-law now, do I? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, maybe you're right. Maybe I will go ask her. I do feel kind of bad leaving you here on your own, though. I'm fine, really. Besides, if you spend all this time worrying about me, the music will be over by the time you ask. Well, okay. Such an idiot. Ah, oh, Elise. Your Highness? The generally accepted strategy here would be to keep his eyes on you, not push him toward another girl's tender embrace. If you were to only gather the courage to ask him, I'm certain that he would be more than accommodating. It's fine. I'm fine, honestly. Elisa. Reen, is your sister okay? Yeah. Actually, she's the only reason I had the courage to come over here. Would you dance with me? What? Well, me? That was the idea. Uh, is that a no? <laughs> All right. Let's get a little closer to the bonfire then. Okay. Everyone's still at it. <sighs> I wish I still had that much energy left. Still, it's not like there's a lot more festival to use it on. It's strange. It feels like the whole year's been building up to this festival, but... Yeah. It felt like it was over in the blink of an eye. Both the festival and the year as a whole. <laughs> exactly. It won't be long until the second years graduate, and we'll be in their shoes. Time really does fly, huh? Yeah. It's hard to believe so many months have passed since we all first met. But I do have to wonder whether any of us have gotten any closer to figuring out what we're going to do with our lives. I wish I knew. I might have looked confident when I told Mother that I'd show her how to run the company by the time I graduated, but that was in the heat of the moment. I honestly don't know whether I'd drive Reinford straight into the ground or not. How could you know? Still... Still, there's one thing I do know. No matter how difficult the odds, our class always finds a way through. Growing up should be no different. Still, <laughs> you stole my line. <laughs> I think you need some new material. I'm getting used to your speeches by now. Well, that, and I believe it. 
I think everything is going to work out as long as our class is together. As long as you and I are together. I... Oh, my. Oops. Confessing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Lisa. Uh. Then let's stay together. We're still looking for our places in the world, but maybe they're right next to each other. I hope so. Me too. Oh, the cutest. After that, I mean, she is the girl who bumped into me. R is for romance. But by then, that memorable evening was approaching its end. Reen, Elise. Is it my parents finally? No. Damn. Claire. Good evening, Captain. You must be exhausted. <laughs> well, it's not as though I performed on stage in front of an auditorium full of people or anything. I really enjoyed your concert, by the way. That's the kind of thing that makes me proud to be an alumnus. Wait, what? You're a student here? That's right. I was part of the Academy's 216th graduating class. And since you'll be part of its 221st, I suppose that makes me five years your senior. I, I had no idea. Why didn't you mention it until just now? Given that we only ever met while you were on your field studies, it didn't seem pertinent. Besides, once people graduate, they tend to leave their ties to their school behind, especially here at Thor's. Because it's a military academy? Exactly. Roughly 40% of the graduates here go on to join the military. Not always the same branch or even the same army. About 30% join the Imperial Army, and 10% go to a provincial force. Students who are best friends one day might find themselves enemies the next. Reen. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill your happy mood like this. But I'm sure you're well aware of what may lie ahead. That we're teetering on the brink of an era of upheaval. I'm aware. Um, does this have something to do with the issues in Crossbell I've been hearing about? Yes, amongst other things. It seems as though everyone on the continent is ready to go to war with everyone else. But that's why it's so important that we're able to stand strong no matter what happens. Though, judging by how well Class 7 has performed on their field studies, I'm sure you'll all be fine in that regard. <laughs> Here's hoping that I get the chance to help you out again sometime. Even if I'll have to be careful not to draw the ire of that instructor of yours while I'm doing so. <laughs> I'm just glad to know that you have her back. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're quite well... Please, excuse me a moment. Yes, Revelt speaking? Mm-hmm. What? What's going on? And you're certain of this? Understood. I'll return at once. Yes. I will escort them back to Valflame Palace myself. I'm afraid I have to excuse myself. Uh. Sorry, Elise. My brothers requested that we return to Heimdall right away, but as we're going back by car, I thought I'd offer you a ride home. But, but... Elise, I think you should go back with them for now. I'll call you later to make sure you're okay. Well, all right. Sorry to drop this on you so quickly, Reen. I'm sure someone from the Academy will fill you in shortly. Fill me in? On what? If you'll excuse us. Don't worry. We'll be sure to get Elise back to the Academy safely. Does anyone have any idea what's going on? I'm afraid not. I've never seen father behave like that before. My mother's the same way. She got a message of some kind and just changed. Ditto my father. I think it was someone from Heimdall who got in touch with him. One thing is certain. 
Something terrible has happened. My dad turned pale and was gone before I could ask what happened. It sounded like he received a report from Instructor Neidhart, though. Hold on. Neidhart's supposed to be... He was at Corellia Fortress with the 4th Armored Division on some sort of mission, right? Speaking of which, has anyone seen Toa or Instructor Sarah? Students and visitors, I cannot thank you enough for your attendance today. I hereby proclaim the 127th Thor's Military Academy Festival complete. But I am afraid I must announce this with a heavy heart, as we have just received word from the Imperial government that this evening, Gorelia Fortress, which rests on the eastern border of the Empire, the fortress is gone? has been destroyed. No, destruction is an inadequate word. An unknown weapon has erased the fortress in its entirety from existence. I would ask that all of our guests, from that region or otherwise, please try to remain calm. Wow, that's... rough. The whole fucking fortress is just gone? Are they gonna show a picture of it? Millions gone. Ah, uh, where is she? Homeroom was supposed to start ages ago. I'm not surprised she's late. The instructors are probably all busy trying to figure out what to do. That seems more than likely. This morning's meeting has already blown past its normal ending time. It's still hard for me to believe all of this is really happening. Having been there, the idea that Gorelia Fortress just vanished is difficult to comprehend. Not all of it, I heard. There are still some parts left and almost untouched. But Instructor Neidhart making it out of there alive was nothing short of a miracle, though. Those huge railway guns were part of the section that's gone, too, if I hadn't seen the pictures. It'd be kind of hard to believe. What kind of weapon is even capable of doing something like that? I find myself doubtful that any human could create something so powerful. We just don't know. All we do know is that it's impossible to make a weapon that powerful even with today's most advanced orbital technology. And yet here we are, with just such a weapon in the hands of what's always been seen as a mere vassal state. The Imperial Army has their work cut out for them. I'll say that much. I'm worried about what's going on in the capital, too. It sounds like there have been even more demonstrations going on there these past few days. Down with Crossbell, they say. Point our guns towards the east. Is there even any truth to those rumors that Calvert's planning an invasion? I'm pretty sure it's all nonsense, but considering how there have been tensions between us and them for years, people are just more inclined to believe it. Rumors are just that. We need to be careful not to be misled by half-truths and speculation. If possible, we should find out exactly what's happening for ourselves. Yeah. Over the year, we've seen how things are across the Empire with our own eyes. And now's as good a time as any to put that knowledge to use. 
Well said. We've had quite the education in getting to the truth behind all the headlines. That seems to have been a running theme of most of our field studies. Still, we seem to be missing two of our illustrious members. Well, there's nothing strange about Crow's habitual truancy. Or did he already transfer back to his original class? No. He said he was going to be with us through the end of the month. As for Million, though, I'm not sure. You don't think it's something to do with the intelligence division, do you? Well, she is an agent of theirs. It's kind of easy to forget that, given how she usually is. It does concern me that none of us have seen her. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, instructor. Are we starting homeroom? Not today, I'm afraid. All classes have been canceled. You can either stay here in the building and study until school's out, or go back to the dorm. So, wait. Has something happened? Not yet, but it will. Chancellor Osborne's going to be addressing the nation from Dreykel's Plaza at noon. It's set to be broadcast across the entire empire. A national address? Sounds pretty serious. And given the timing, indeed, it's not hard to imagine what's on his agenda. Come on, guys. Straighten up. You're students of Thor's Military Academy, and that makes you all cadets. Whatever careers you choose, military or civilian, you need to know how to act decisively in an emergency. So right now, I don't want you to look away from what's happening in the world. I want you to face it straight. You're right. Now's not the time to lose heart. As for Osborne's speech, apparently we'll be setting up radios in each classroom so the students can listen to the national address. So if you want to follow along, be sure to be back here by noon. I suppose I might as well listen to it here, then. Same here. I don't even have a radio. Uh, I do, but for something like this, I'd rather not listen to it alone. <laughs> well, then, we can all share in the joy of hearing the melodious voice of our esteemed Chancellor. Maybe I should haul in some beer and snacks. That's the only way I'll stay sane through the entire broadcast. Hmm. What should we do about Crow and Million, though? None of us have seen either of them all day. Do you know where they are? Can't say I do. Crow's practically made a career out of playing hooky, but I did see Milliam earlier this morning. Oh, so she's still on campus? At least that means she wasn't called away by the intelligence division. Hmm, I'd been thinking along those lines, but when I asked her, she just shrugged and said, No news from the top! Oh, just a little bracer to bracer information swapping. Yes, but lest you forget, she excels at giving us the runaround. Bracer to bracer swapping, but it said I... At least it doesn't oh. sound like she's in trouble. We're probably worried over nothing. We'll just have to tell them we're meeting here at noon if we run into them before then. Yeah, we will do. Okay, do I have control now? I guess everyone's going to check in with their clubs. Looks like I have some free time. Might as well see if I can track down Crow and Milliam. At least it sounds like Milliam is probably somewhere on campus. Crow, though? He could be anywhere. I think that's this gentleman. Such as selling things you don't need or spending all your money on things you want. It's play through now. Bounce around. Oh, Reem! I figured I could find you here. Yep. The student council will be passing out radios for every classroom. Are you guys planning on listening to the Chancellor's statement, too? How could we not? He's supposed to be addressing the entire country, after all. Yeah. Whatever, I don't think anyone could have imagined the relationship between... I sure hope Angie's okay. Toa. <laughs> I'm the student council president. I mean, Angie would laugh at me if she could see me getting distracted over her. She's trying That's to get right. this over with. You've got to focus on getting through this. Still, don't try to take on more than you can handle. Will do. Oh, yeah. Why were you... Right. Do you have any idea where Crow? Hmm. He didn't mention that he had to go anywhere. When... Was yesterday the last time you saw him? Yeah. He was giving me back some of the stuff that was nice of him, but, but... <sighs> it's only polite to give back this. 
Well, I'll keep asking around and find out if anyone knows. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, but make sure you're back in your classroom by noon, okay? Of course. All right, so talk to Toa. George now in the engineering building. I still can't believe there's a weapon out there. I didn't think you could get much more power. Yeah, having seen the railway go, there are rumors that whatever that weapon is, it's managed still. I can't help but wonder what the Chancellor's... Whatever it is, I have a feeling that it's gonna... Who knows? You might even see active do... Could be that my lazy days tinkle... Oh, don't... Well, no point stressing out. I didn't mean to be a downer about... This country may go through a lot... That's a good way to look... I don't want to look away from what's... But anyway, he hasn't shown up to... Bro? He came by yesterday with a box of things he'd borrowed from... Dang. Anyway, I'll keep asking... Well, knowing Crow, he... Just keep looking around. Will do. Nothing out of the ordinary has happened here. We kind of ended up pushing it to the back of our... Huh? It's a... George is in the engineering building. If any of the students just idly want... I should probably take a look and... I checked around inside of the old schoolhouse. But all the same, I didn't want a chance leaving anyone down there. Millium? Oh, Reem! Come to take a sneak peek, too? <sighs> Is this where you've been the whole time? You do know we have class, right? Oh. Dang, I knew I was forgetting something. Honestly. So, what's piqued your interest? It doesn't look like this thing has anything in common with Aragetlum. Hmm, I don't know. I can't shake the feeling that it might, at least a little. Not the same, but... Like they share some kind of underlying principle. I've got no idea what you're talking about. I guess you wouldn't really understand without being connected. But now it makes sense why Gramps asked me to keep an eye on this place, though. I had no idea there'd be something this cool down here. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Chancellor Osborne? Did he know there was something like this here? Not really sure. He just asked me to keep an eye on the building itself and said to let him know if anything unusual happened. Whoopsie! That was supposed to be confidential. So, the Chancellor has an interest in our... We did just find out that Captain Claire is a... Hey, what you thinking about? Say, Milliam, was investigating the old schoolhouse the reason you enrolled at the Academy? Mmm, well, sorta, but it was more of a side thing. There was a more important reason, but that kinda stopped being a concern. So I guess it's just this now. Something more important than this? Not sure what she's getting at. Doesn't sound... Oh, yeah! It's almost time for Grant's speech, isn't it? I guess I should head back and listen to him drone on. Oh, so you already knew about that. We were all planning to listen in the classroom. Sweet! I'll just listen with you guys then. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Nothing keeps you down for long, does it? Oh, yeah. You haven't seen Crow around anywhere, have you? Huh? No. Is he cutting class too? Well, he's probably just hiding out somewhere on campus. None of the others have seen him, though. I wonder if he went into town. Huh, maybe. Wanna try looking around Trista? I'll come with you. Sounds like a good idea. If he's not... All right. Track down Crow? Might as well. I guess we should start with the dorms first. Maybe Sharon knows where he's gone. Okie dokie. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see either of you back so early. Welcome home. Hello again, Sharon. We're back. <laughs> oh. I heard from Lady Sarah that you would be... Well, that was the plan. Say, Crow hasn't been back here, has he? Master Crow? Well, actually... Oh, he did? Indeed. I don't believe he stayed long. It seems he... Sounds like we just missed him. Hmm, I don't... Should we check his room just... Yeah, might as well while we're... <laughs> well...
Empty. Hmm. Looks like he did go out then. Still, don't you think his room's awfully... Well, he was supposed to be moving out of here fairly... Anyway, it's almost noon. Yep, it's almost time for Gramps' speech. Still, I wonder where Crow went. Yeah. There's... Oh, it's you. Patrick? Yeah. Patrick? What if I thought you would have gone back home? Well, we don't have any classes today, so I was just resting in my room. Sure, I've been told to return home. Repeat, but as a member of the four great houses, what dig don't underestimate. Oh, wow. Wouldn't dream of it. Is class one planning on living? We are. Personally, I can't stand the man. Those of us who elected to remain at the academy. Ah. Uh. You've got some strange classmates, though. I know Heimdall's not all that far from Trista, but I'm not... What are you talking about? That crow. I met him outside the... Huh. Oh, he didn't tell you? When I inquired, he said he wanted to hear... Huh. I wouldn't have expected him to... Well, at least we know where he went now. I haven't a clue what you're babbling on about. Anyway, it's almost noon now. Shouldn't you be running... Oh, yeah, you're... Let's get going, Milliam. Everyone else is waiting in the classroom. Okay. I just had a weird realization. Is Crow Comrade C? Like, he wasn't there because he's like, I'll try to find my way back to you. The thing collapsed. And every other time we've run across him, I don't think he's been in our party. Uh-oh. That feels... The clock's about to strike noon in Heimdall, with the Chancellor set to take the stage for his national address. With the situation in Crossbell and the destruction of Gorel, the message he has today will... A reporter is joining us. Sounds like he's about to start. Oh, I... This is Misty, coming to you live from Heimdall. Huh? Why is Misty... Oh, it's the host from Aventine. At least that's a reassuring voice. How? Emma, what's wrong? The, the woman talking on the radio, she's... You all know her? Who, Misty? Of course. She hosts the radio show Aubin Time every Sunday night at 9. I've seen her out and about in Trista, too. Though, considering Aubin Time is broadcast by Radio Trista, it makes sense that's where she'd be. Huh? Do you know her or something? The Chancellor's standing at the podium, and it looks like he's about ready to begin. Let's hear what he has to say. Citizens of Heimdall, I am Gilead Osborne. Because he did the trick where he dropped the sword as a distraction, and that reminded me of him dropping the coin. Today, in the face of an crossbell, our erstwhile and as its parting shot, frozen the ass. As we have moved to safeguard our national and our enemies point to this as an example of error. We acted in accordance with our duties as a colonial. The imperial hand may be firm, but it is with an unknown weapon of the stronghold that has long. I ask you, brothers and sisters, of, do we sit idle as we cannot, with blood and with our- Okay, so we're just gonna get revenge. Cool. Listen to him go. Oh, he's quite the orator. That's- <laughs> Well- Milliam? What are you doing? Hmm. Nope. Can't get through. No surprise there, I- Who are you trying to call? What is all this about? Oh, it's- Part of my mission. The most important part, actually. If only I'd caught on a little sooner. But considering he managed to outwit Claire, Lecter, and even Gramps, I suppose Crow's earned this victory. What? What does Crow have to do with this? Huh. So that's your angle. You came because you had a potential lead on C, and you couldn't look into it from the outside. Is that it? What? As in the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front? But he's dead, isn't he? 
The intelligence division looked at all of C's actions so far and drew up a list of potential suspects. And one possibility we couldn't dismiss was that he had ties to this academy somehow. But after C and his cronies got blown up aboard their airship in the mine, we thought it was a moot point. Looks like we spoke too soon, though. Ugh, I can't believe how bad we screwed this up. Uh, are you seriously suggesting that it's Crow? That it's been him all along? Crow was with us in the mine right up until he went with the miners to escort them back to the surface, right? Yeah, and then his route back ended up blocked off by a cave-in. But what if he actually used another route to get there ahead of us? Then fought us wearing that masked helmet and cape. Before making it look like he boarded the airship, then sneaking back around to join the others like nothing happened. Madness. No one would stake their entire plan on such a precarious stunt. Perhaps we can read the evidence that way, but there are a few leaps in logic that bother me. Besides, remember when the terrorists escaped from Gorelia Fortress? We heard C talking to us, and not just then. He was addressing us just before the airship exploded in the mine, too. That's true, on both counts. And Crow was with us the whole time during everything that went down in Gorelia. He never left our sight. Right. No mistaking it. My name is C, leader of the Imperial Liberation Front. The hammer of judgment shall fall again. I'm ready. Are you? Yeah, there's no way he could be... He okay. could have recorded a message in advance and played it back. Oh. And the airship that exploded? It could have been controlled remotely. His alibi seems airtight. But once you account... Yep. And if C's still alive, that means the other ringleaders probably are too. Then right now, Crow is... Oh no. He said he was headed to Dreykel's Plaza, didn't he? If a skilled sniper has their eye on you, you let your guard down for even a second and bang. If he's the one who shot down the airship in the mine, then it's checkmate for the Chancellor. We stand at the brink of nothing less than a national crisis. In such tumultuous times, we must set aside our... I will not deny the rift that has... But how childish! How insignificant! I have met with His Majesty the Emperor. Thus, in the name of the Emperor... Finish your speech in hell. Wow, he just got his heart blown out. Uh, well played, on breast. Well, that was anticlimactic, and there's our coup de gras. Now, just have to add the finishing touches. Hands in the air! It really was you all along. To think, all the time we spent searching for the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front, and he was right under our noses. Crow Armbrust, from the Jirai SEZ. Aww. And here I thought I'd managed to cover my tracks like a real pro. So, who put all the pieces together? I bet it was Arundel, wasn't it? We just received confirmation a short while ago. If you hadn't been so difficult to pin down, we would have had this investigation finished up already. How could you? How could you? You know, this really brings back the memories. It's a lot like when Jirai was annexed by the Empire eight years ago. You let your guard down, you lose. That's how your boss's favorite little game works, isn't it? Well, he lost. And now he won't be playing any of his games again. G get on the ground! I don't know how you managed to plan all of this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. What? It's 
coming closer. It looks like we may not be out of the woods yet, folks. A large silver craft has been sighted in the sky to the south, and it seems to be headed toward the capital. But hearing a radio broadcast just isn't the same as seeing it unfold yourselves, is it? So how about I give you Thor students a special treat? Just my way of saying thanks for the fun I had at the festival. Wait, what's she talking about? Was... was she speaking directly to us just now? Resound, resound, O oh voice everlasting! Rend night's silent veil and reveal unto all the beautiful world! What the? Isn't that the plaza in Heimdall? This is one of the Azure Abyss's incantations, Phantasmagoria! A bird. So all that iron they were suffering out was to build their own ship, I bet. And that's what I, I guessed earlier. I was like, yeah, they built their own fucking ship. So what if they didn't build a tank? They could just build a big-ass airship. Fuck up everything like they, they did with the red one. Alliance Forces flagship. like those doms and uh, mobile suit Gundam. These things should pack a bigger punch. If they can't at least harm these things, I'd be very upset. I'd be like, that's kind of bullshit. What is that thing? I know, but it ain't one of ours. It's time to avenge His Excellency. Like the other machine guns I can understand, but these things... Yeah, no. A tank round is a tank round. Fire! Oh, yeah, you missed. Idiot. Where did it... <gasps> and the other ones are just going to sit there and watch. Should be properly covering each other. There's five tanks there. I'm only seeing two now. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Their armor didn't hold up to the shots, huh? What? What are those things? Humanoid combat armors, courtesy of Reinford's Fifth Development Division, staunch supporters of the Noble Alliance. Knights for the modern age. Modeled after a stunning historical example, and made of hardened steel from toe to crown. We call them the Panzer Soldats. But how did... 
Don't move. Sorry, I don't take orders from you. Zephyr should be able to secure Valflame Palace just fine on their own. But I've got my own score to settle. No! What? <laughs> See ya, Icy Maiden. was a bit of a letdown, huh? I'll give him an A for effort, but we're talking about the Imperial capital here. The hard part's still ahead. Most of the Imperial armies, but they'll be back soon enough now. And who knows? <laughs> Guess the ones to watch out for are the 3rd, 4th, and 7th armored divisions, huh? I wonder whose side our little princess will take. That's for Fee to decide. Boss would have wanted that way. Splendidly done, Grianos. I see you were able to share the sweetest notes of my aria with our little friends. I find myself reminded afresh of the brilliance with which you shine as the second anguish, Lady Vida Clotilde. Vast is the stage, and beauty is the performance of the Azure Abyss. <laughs> That's quite the compliment, considering your standards on beauty. Still, first the Burl, then Crossbell, and now here in Erebonia. Don't you think you're getting a little too greedy for your own good? Oh. Your chastisement cuts deep. We'll be proceeding with the next step of the Phantasmal Blaze plan, I presume? Hmm. Yes, indeed. The bells are tolling for Crossbell, and preparations here are complete. Still, even this grand an undertaking is but a jewel in a greater crown. The second stage of the Orpheus final plan. The symphony awaits us. Let... There's a whole lot of shit just to just fucking went Completely swapped. Is this really happening? It is. I'm certain of it. Phantasmagoria is an arcane art known to the Witch of the Abyss, capable of showing scenes and visions across great distances. The woman you know as Misty is... something of a sister of mine. Wait, the Witch of the Abyss? Are you saying that's who Misty really is? I feel like any moment I'm going to wake up in my bed. If only it was. Well... We'll have plenty of time to worry about that later. Right now, we've got two more pressing concerns. Oh, no. <sighs> Damn. That gargantuan airship. I have no doubts that they were bank... I saw them there. My old family. All this time, I never knew what happened to them. Fee. So you know those men? They're former members of Zephyr. Used to be one of the continent's strongest Jaeger corps. It looks like the noble faction hired them to do their dirty work. On top of that... It looks like our guess about C's identity was right on the money, but I don't know what that cool blue thing was he flew off in. Crow. On behalf of the Student Council, I'm sure you all experienced that s and the principal has an announcement he... Good afternoon, everyone. I'm sorry to say there's a strong light. However, it's important to note, I'm doing all I can to find out what's going... So while the other clock... How could she use a national radio broadcast? Is that even possible? For her, it is. With little difficulty at that. Yo, Sarah here. Nightheart? What? Of course. Yeah, understood. All right, class. I've got to step... But no matter what happens... What's... I'm not sure. Can this day even get... That's the first time I've seen that. I hear something to the west. Several armored cars are approaching, and it's... You've got to be kidding. First time, doll. Are they planning on taking over the academy? Hmm. Sure. Notable members from both factions have kids enrolled here, and so either they're looking to preemptively protect their own or take. The... This is absurd. Whatever their intentions. Do you think that's where the instructors went? Those giant armors tore through the army. Our instructors are strong, but we. I'm not sure how much help we'd be. But right now, the... I'm with you. You have my sword. I didn't really wake up today planning to... None of us did. I'll do everything I can to... Uh. Guess I'll help too. 
I wonder how Lamiel might- We haven't got a lot of time. All right, let's do this. All right, I have to use the restroom. This is killing me. Holy shit! Why are you also Ferris? What in- I saw the instructors leave. Oh, they already left? Patrick, you have to stay here. You can't let them take over this building. Swarza? W what are they- <sighs> What an idiot! I- I heard a war- Don't worry, everyone. We'll show you to the auditorium. Toa! Reen! What are you doing here? You You're not planning on going to help the- That's exactly what- I'd bring shame to the Arsade na- We're not gonna push our luck. You can't be- If that video's anything to go by, you'd be- The chances of you overcoming a fort. Are you really sure- We are. This is cat- And we'll be damned if we're going to let them just take that away! You guys- Oh boy. The instructors told me not to let you- Alright. But don't forget. You if you ever feel like your lives are in danger, run away! Surrender! Promise me! Of course! We promise! At least make sure you've got everything you- I've got my tools on me, so... Okay. Can't believe her. <laughs> Pro's the bad guy. Can you believe it, guys? Alright. Pausing everything. Go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Mm. Mm.
almost done. Move again. Alright, so it says when you can control Rain again, you should be at the front gate. Return to the main building, second floor, and speak to somebody on the west hallway. These two. And that was supposed to update their profile, really? It did. Is that everybody's, I wonder? That's quite a bit pro. Guess I missed one. was the only one I missed. But I think it'll maybe update it when I win. Who knows? May Adios be with you. And just a little speculation from me, but looking at their design, you should aim for their joints. Take them apart at their weakest point. I see. Then let's pray our aim is true. I... I know I'm repeat still. So do wait, not just for us. Oh, that's good. Sure didn't waste any time. God damn it, it phone. The battle's already underway. There, toward the west exit. Let's move. Impossible. Are you even human? Oh, I'm as human as they come. Or Instructor Beatrix, for that matter. I'll say. Our decorated veterans are putting the younger generation to shame. Now, now. There's no need to go around flattering old ladies, Nightheart. <laughs> no need to be so modest, Beatrix. I don't know of any other old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're at it, since when were the two of you such whizzes with all those high-level art? Especially you, Thomas. When did you leave the lot? <laughs> well, you know me. Th they're monsters, sir. We don't stand a chance against them. Ah. They did this? I almost feel sorry for them. Um, she was a colonel in the Imperial Army. Heard she saved Sarah's life once. He yeah, she's kind of a legend. In her day, she'd patch them all up. Wow. No, you know, maybe they do. No. It's not over yet. Looks like they've got some reinforcements coming in. 
Cease your fire. If they're fielding monster, <laughs> here they come. <laughs> they're boasting some impressive armor. Looks like they've been designed with integrated arts resistance, too. Hmm. You think we can really beat all these things? Well, I don't see another way out of this. We need to hold this location until the Imperial. <laughs> Time to see if the army. Same to you, Miss A rank break. My, my! Shut, Shut up, Thomas! Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Palestine and Nightheart are taking point. Let's give them some cover. Yes, sir. Now, let... They certainly seem to be holding their own. Yeah, but look how many they're up against. And the enemy's still got strength to spare. But the instructors don't have anything to fall back on. Let's go. Right. At the very least, we should be... If we can give them that much more of a... <laughs> what? Sharon? Allow me to handle things here. I'll be sure to give Lady Sarah and her... Huh? She's fast. I figured you'd show up sooner or later. Steel wires. These new model engines certainly are quite the step up. I'm impressed. Still, all the power in the world doesn't mean much if you're all tied up. The pleasure of being bound, vulnerable. Would you care for a little demonstration? So you finally dropped the act, huh? Looks like you've even picked up a few new tricks. But I guess I wouldn't expect any less from Sharon Kruger, Ouroboros' enforcer number nine. Or should I just call you the Severing Chains? I'm currently on leave from that position. Right now, I'm but a humble man, and no matter who's pulling the strings, anyone who tries... That's fine by me. But I think you and I need to sit down and have a nice long... Oh! Look at them go! Of course not. I was just about to say we... I like this guy's, uh... It's like a glade or however. Boys will be boys. Oh my! I feel like a mere mortal walking among titans. Okay, I think I got these guys figured out gonna nullify their art shielding capabilities. <laughs> you sure know how to show a guy a good time. <laughs> you got some real fight in you. Still, there's only so much you can do against these... You're a military academy. So, Elisa, just who the heck is Sharon? Don't ask me. I'm pretty sure my mother knows her back. Still, now they may have at least a chance. Still, we've seen those suits demolish battle tanks in just a... You're right. If we join the... That sound... It's faint, but I can hear it. No way. But, but that's coming from the opposite direction of the capital. Lammy! We've got two of those armors coming in fast! A blue one and a green one! <laughs> well, they certainly don't seem to be holding back on our account. Are they trying to catch the town in a pincer at the instructors and Sharon have their work cut out for them with those five? Looks like we're the first and only line of defense then. Yeah. Get ready, everyone! Just as east exit in sight now. No hostiles visible. <laughs> 
I hear they've rounded up quite, but I'm sure they've got their hands full dealing with Vulcan. Never mind that, though. C's instructions were to head straight for the academy. Roger that, comrade. <coughs> We've got a group of unknowns. Dead ahead. Hmm? My, my. <laughs> and here I thought... But you didn't let me down, did you, Clat? Commencing operation. Our objective is to defend Trista's east exit. Aim for the one in the front and give it everything you've got. Let's do it. <laughs> How cute. It just wouldn't be sporting of us to attack at the same time. Roger that. You've interfered with our cause for far too long. Let's see how long you last. Bring it on! Oh, good thing I just fucking saved, right? Game fucking crashed. Trista's east exit in sight. No hostiles visible. <laughs> I hear they've rounded up quite, but I'm sure they've got their hands full. Never mind. Seize. Roger that. <coughs> We've got a... <laughs> My... <laughs> but you did... Commence our... Aim for... That's good. <laughs> it just... Roger that. You've... Let's... Hostile spotted. Beginning. My turn. One, nope. Two. Okay. How's this out? <laughs> My turn. As your planes gather on my blade. We looks like George was right about aiming for the joints. <laughs> I should have expected. <laughs> I recognize that grating voice. Scarlet, you're in there, aren't you? Oh, did you miss me? But I hope you haven't forgotten that I. You managed to be one soul box, but once is just luck. <gasps> that one's not like the others. So it has weapons the regular suits don't? Oh, believe me. You'll find that. Sadly, I doubt you'll survive the demonstration. I welcome all challengers. I'll handle it. Here you go. Silky Dance! Please. 
It reflected all our attacks. That's cheating! And this, children, is what we call reactive armor. Think of it as a protective field that the they originally designed it to defend against tank assault. <laughs> the 5th Division really outdid itself this time. Reen? Hey, what are you... You're not. It's the same as when he fought the Viscount. No, don't! Don't do it, Reen! Hmm. So this must be that power of yours that she mentioned. I wonder if it'll really give you the strength to take down this Spiegel. If I go full force, it'll probably cost me my life. But if that's what it takes to keep them all safe... Reen, stop! You don't have to do this! Dost thou desire the power? to call out my name. One in whom dwells the flame. Awaken her. Wait. This voice. It looks like all the conditions have finally been met. S Celine, you can talk? Yes, yes, quite eloquently too. But that's not important right now. Right now, you need to stay focused. You should know his name already. You saw it deep within the realm of the Great Shadow. Uh, Val, Val, Valmir, Val, yeah, Valamar. Valimar. Val She's right. I remember the name. It feels so familiar. Like I've always known. Heed my call. Valamar, the Ashen Knight! Valamar, the Ashen Knight. That's fucking cool. I was I thought I was gonna like teleport. <laughs> what's happening to him? He just stopped moving. Celine, what's going on? Shh, let him concentrate. What? Did did Celine just The cat is talking? What's he doing with that fancy light show? Well, whatever. It's... Playtime's over, brats. Unless you have a death wish, I... What was that? It's the... Wait! Shit! Is that what C was talking about? How did you? Is this one of the great knights from the ancient legends? So the tales are true. You see before you one of the divine knights, incarnations of the great power, the Ashen Knight, Valimar. Ah, damn it! This wasn't in the plans. It shouldn't have been able to move yet.
How am I even doing this? It's like my body just knows. The moment you accepted the Awakener's Covenant, all the fundamental knowledge was granted to you. But you've got a more pressing issue to deal with right now. And this Divine Knight doesn't have a weapon yet either. <sighs> You're mine! It evaded that attack like a trained duelist. Like Greenwood. All right, I think I figured out the basics. Green! Is he inside that thing making it move? <laughs> That's awesome! I recognize that stance. The eight leaves one blade styles unarmed form. <laughs> You're just full of surprises, aren't you? Huh. Looks like you might be able to handle this after all. The eight leaves one blade school has a form we use if we're disarmed or have to fight without a weapon. And believe me, Master Ka Fai drilled it into me so thoroughly I could do it in my sleep. Sounds like you owe him a thank you next time you see him. Watch out! Here she comes! Let's see what we can do! Don't leave me unsatisfied now. <laughs> I don't have a chain to save! It's gonna make me go through that shit all over again. I just know it. Are you, are you gonna make me go through this all over again? Yeah. Fuck! Trista's east exit in sight. No hostiles visible. <laughs> I hear they've rounded up quite, but I'm sure they've got their hands full. Never mind. See. Roger that. <coughs> We've got a. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> but you did. Commence our aim for. Good. <laughs> it just. Roger that. You've been. Let's. Bring it on. My turn. Behold the might of the R-State School! As you're playing, Oh, can I not put on... That might be why. My turn. Okay. Here we go. Death, no. No. We looks like <laughs> I wrecked Scar. No, oh, but I. You managed. Oh, that one. So it happened. Oh, sad. I welcome all challengers. My turn. Behold the might of the r -State School. Okay. 
Okay. I'll handle it. Go. Right. My turn. Take this. My turn. Okay. How am I supposed to beat this again? Last time I just beat her into the ground and she gave up. Yeah, and that's how it's supposed to go. No way. Here a fact. And they think they the fit. Read. Hey. You're not. Now I'm just going to hold this in. If I go what if? Why if you don't Dost thou desire the power? What? If thee and I are of one accord, a covenant can be made. Thou hast but to call out my name, one in whom dwells the flame. Awaken her. It looks. You can. Yeah, right now. You. You. Uh. She's. It feels. He. Balamar, the Ashen Knight. Since while this is doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all the cheats for now. Hope oh, the game doesn't. I like this. He just Celine. Shh. They're like, did the cat just talk? What's he? Well, plate. I'm. What was that? Which? Here it comes. Especially since I can't save. So you have to do like the three fights over and over and over. Huh? Reen, is this so that? You see the act. Uh, it's like the bone, but you and this. Like re All right. Re is he <laughs> I wreck Huh. The eight leap and believe sounds watch out. Let's see what This is the battle. Don't leave me unsatisfied now. So I think it broke because I wasn't supposed to have CP. There's spirit, which is whom's gives 50% HP and gives me 50 thing. But I should attack body. I'm guessing. How about this? That stance looks like I should attack. Did. Hope you like 
back to this one again. She did that. It says attack to head when she does that. One says, Why am I confused about this? Makes no sense at all. You're in it now. So she's in this move. And it says if I'm in if this, I'm supposed to attack that arm. But she dodges it. So what the fuck am I supposed to be attacking? This is really dumb. Because it's literally telling me And she just keeps dodging it. I just, I don't care anymore. So, I was supposed to attack the arm. I'm gonna attack the head this time. Are you serious? This can't be happening. Why was that stance the head? Is it broken? I guess the pictures I have are wrong. Damn it! If Reinhardt had finished my temper sword in time, I'd be the one still standing. This battle is over. There's no reason to keep fighting. Now get out of Trista and take the squad by the west exit with you. Green. So yeah, fade it and don't come back. All right, this should be all the backup they need at the west exit. Damn. Whoa, whoa, hold up just a sec. Aren't you forgetting something? <gasps> that voice. Something's coming. Blue Knight? Then Valimar wasn't the only Divine Knight that was awoken. See? Am I ever glad to see you? The Azure Knight? So he was an Awakener all along. <sighs> I'll bet she's the one who guided him to it, too. Crow. Crow! Are you really in there? Sure am. Long time no see, Reen. 
Oh, well, not too long, I guess, seeing as we just had dinner together last night. But that all feels strangely distant now, you know? Another lifetime almost. Why? Why are you doing this? Are you really the one who shot the Chancellor? And where did you even get that thing? It's thanks to the Imperial Liberation Front's planning that I wound up at the Academy in the first place. It was a nice spot to bide my time while we waited for our chance to take out the Chancellor. Gotta say, though, the whole school thing was a lot more fun than I expected. Almost makes me sad to leave it behind. But at the end of the day, I'm C. That's the real deal. The crow armbreast you've known all this time, he isn't real. Like hell he isn't! All the good times we had? Your friendship with Toa? Do you seriously want me to believe that our hanging out? Our... <sighs> yeah. Oh no. Crow! Reinford made that for the Soldats units. I know it's not the kind you're used to. So, what? A double saber. Just like C used. Then there's no room left for doubt. I take no joy in this, but we can't have that Ashen Knight of yours getting in the way later down the line. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to bust it up. As for you students in the staff, so that's the plan if you win, huh? But what about if I win? <laughs> if you win, I'll pay up the interest I owe you on that 50 Mira. Hell, we could even trade places. I'll babble on about friendship and dreams, and you can have fun for once in your life. You've got yourself a deal. But I hope you know what you just signed up for. Because if we'll be trading places, don't forget you'll have so one way or another. <laughs> You've got some real stones, but sure, I'll agree to those terms. This is bad. Their will to fight is causing an enormous outpouring of mana. All right, let's do this. Fucking kidding me. I did yeah, the cheats aren't even on. The cheats aren't even on. I turned everything off. There are no fuck the cheat engine isn't even running. Like it was there. I was like, I'm gonna turn all this shit off. I even set it on stream. Turn all this shit off. I don't want to take any chances this is gonna crash again. Game just won't <laughs> It's 10.30. I'm gonna call it. <laughs> just, just gonna call it. It's 10.30 and I can't take this anymore. It's constantly crashing. So I'm gonna try again. Whenever I come back, I'm, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I just don't. So. Watching this. I'll try to finish it up the next time I can stream. This is on YouTube. I hope I finish it. Y'all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm Spartini, the Reason Partner of the Martini Class. I'm out of here. Bye bye. <laughs>